The characters are famous, beloved, and largely the same 75 years later. But Archie and Friends have been undergoing changes in recent years, the latest inspired by a Canadian woman. Deanna Sumanak has her story. Harper Lodge is glamorous and confident, and like the Canadian woman she's based on, uses a wheelchair. I'm archified. Oh, in case you're wondering, I was in a car accident as a young girl. Through many surgeries and lots of work, I've made it to where I am today. Like the character she inspired, when Jewel Katz was nine, a car accident left her with limited use of her legs. She spent months in hospitals, and Archie's cheery universe helped her pull through. But... There was never someone I could fully relate to. Last year, at a comic book conference, she met Dan Parent, who writes and draws Archie. So I kind of just wheeled up to him, looked at him square in the eye, and I said to him, why isn't there a character with a disability in Riverdale? You know, how is that possible? Yeah. Dan Parent yeah, took her on. I looked at her, I, um, Jewel, and thought that she would be a great Archie character herself. Uh, so um, when I came up with the ideas for Harper, I, I had definitely had Jewel in mind. At his home studio in Pennsylvania, Parent would come up with drawings and storylines for Harper. Then he'd send the material over to Katz in Toronto. She would make sure the day-to-day -day life of a person in a wheelchair was represented realistically. This is Cinderella's magical wheelchair. Kat says the collaboration inspired her to further pursue her dream, writing children's books with characters who have disabilities. But she's still an Archie fan who reacts like this when I tell her of Dan Parent's first impression of her. He thought you looked a bit like Veronica. In fact, Parent made Harper Veronica's cousin and gave her the sparkly pink wheelchair Jewel Cat says go. she always wanted. A small thank you to the um, woman who inspired so a new chapter for the classic <laughs> comic. Totally Deanna Sumanak, CBC News, Toronto. Um,